Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today at the Miller Technical Training Center with the brand new Miller Co-Pilot Cobot that they are letting us try out for the day. So in this video we're going to go over how this Cobot runs, um, what it comes with, uh, the packages. We're going to do a little program just to show you how simple it is to program. Then we're going to run a weld on it and uh, do an after overview of what, how we feel about this thing. So uh, we'll jump right into this. This particular unit is a 4x4 table, comes just like this, it's on casters, it moves. Um, you can break the casters right into the hard stop, so 4x4 is a strong hand tabletop. It comes with a 44 piece fixture set, so you got all the pieces, a couple of pieces out here we're using today. Um, the arm is a 53 inch reach arm, uh, 360 degree reach, so we can go behind it, we can go either side of it, out front to it. I'll kind of give you a little show here on how far we can come out. So it's, it's, got, it's got a decent reach on it, um, very easy to move. You can see I'm moving it pretty simple. Everything's pretty easy on that. We'll go around back here. Um, comes with a 600 amp Trigascus torch on it with Aculoc R consumables, uh, easily available. We'll link all the part numbers down below. Has a four drive roll system, wire feeder on the back, and then it comes with a spool adapter. Um, this is drum capable, and you can put a drum on this, and they sell the adapters for the back. So you can put a drum on this. So you can see it's very small footprint um, for what this unit is, and it's not. Uh, it fits in a nice tight spot. So four by four, um, pretty cool. Now to jump into the programming side of things, we're, we have, we have an attached screen here that is always on the table. So um, it's unlike others. It's it's mounted to the table, so you can't drop it or beat it up. Um, but it's pretty simple to use. It's very easy to program. And to show you guys on, so they, they have a, you gotta pu push the button on the back side to move it. And I'll give you a little better view of that. It's very simple, you just, just touch it and go. And then to program, you got your air point program, your weld point, and then it goes si linear or circular. Um, so each time you press that, it'll store the pro point to the program. And that makes it so much simpler when you're down there in the weld. And another thing, that I want to show you is when you get close to where you're almost going to get get your torch angle correct and everything, it's got this puck up top called AccuGlide. So AccuGlide moves the robot head. You can see it's moving. It's just very, very simplistic. It's not, it's not going fast. But we can rotate it up, down, in, out, and it's very simple. So once we get down there to where we want to start our, our weld point, we can adjust the torch angle and do everything we want to do on there. So let me pull this back up here. Pull that out of the way, and I'll show you guys on the screen. So this unit comes with the Auto Delta Weld 350. There's other packages on it, um, and we'll link all those down below. But this is the brand new Auto Weld Auto Delta Weld 350, the most popular package right now on the market. Um, 350 amps. It is single phase capable, so you do not have to have three phase. Um, so, it, but it'll do three phase as well. Uh, but that that's really nice. Today we're running on single phase 230 so it's very easy setup on this unit is about I would say half a day setup it comes crated uh, drop ships right to your location and then you uncrate it it's a couple of plugs a couple of wires you plug in you put a plug on it we put a plug on put it on the wall so we're on 230 single phase very simple and then this unit also comes with um, one day training from Miller um, so if you guys do purchase one uh, a local Miller rep or a robotic guy will come out and help train you with this. And there's also a QR code here. You can scan and it links you to some uh, information on how to set up this unit. So let's dive into the screen here on the Teach Pendant. So we're gonna we're gonna build a new program today. So we're gonna go into programs. Now this is very simple. I mean it's it's pretty laid out. It's like a Windows based thing. We're gonna go new. We're gonna name it. Well, we might actually name it. We'll just go, it's very simple, you just jog in, jog out, but we'll, we'll dot com, and then we'll just put two, and we'll continue. And then one thing I wanted to talk about is Intelli IntelliSet. So on this program, um, IntelliSet is like auto set on the other Miller. So we can go into that. Um, let me just go back real quick, and we'll, we'll, we'll actually create another one just to... We had that other one saved here. But like I said, really, really easy to use. Um, it's just a 
simple keyboard. We'll just do Baker's Gas. One, and then continue. Now, what I want to talk about was IntelliSet. So we're going to do a T-joint. We have a T-joint laid out right here. We're going to go down, T-joint, material thickness, 14 gauge. Boom, right there. Hit continue. It gives us arc length, uh, wire feed speed, travel speed, uh, gas flow sets our sharp arc for us. Uh, gives our, our contact tip to work distance, our work angle and our torch angle. Pretty easy, so we'll save and exit. So boom, that's all our our settings right there. Now we're in we're running AccuPulse, but you can run a series of different things. We're running AccuPulse today. Um, AccuPulse controls voltage and amperage um, on thin gauge material. A uh, great pulse setting for this particular one. So we're gonna go create. Now we have our program set up. So this is our home button right here. Um, what we're gonna do now is I'll come out, we'll move down, I'll show you how easy it is to use, and then we'll use our puck to adjust our so we'll put an air point right there. And then we'll come down to our joint. And then we'll use the puck to adjust. Now this is when you get real close in there. It gives you your finite movement. There we go. Now we're going to put in a weld point. So that's going to give us our, that's going to call up our WPS and our weld parameters that we already, that we used underneath Baker's Gas 1. And then what I'll do is I'll use the puck here and we'll just jog down our weld. Just to move in a linear motion and show you a quick simple setup on. You can see how finite it is. I'm, I'm, I'm moving that puck around and just showing you it's got a little bit of a circular motion. You can go in and out, go down with it, and go up with it. So it's pretty simple to use, but it's nice because when you're getting real close into them points, you can really move that and get a finite adjustment. So then what we'll do there to close out that weld. We're going to put it in an air point, and so it connect the loop so that, that welding is now a loop. We'll come back out, just so we clear the part, put it in an air point, and then we'll move back home, and we'll put in a point there. So that'll be our home base point. So there's our basic weld. Um, now we're in teach, so if we want to run the program, we'll go, we'll go back up. We'll go to auto, welding is off, and we'll just play the. So it's gonna run the weld out. Fairly simple, so you can see how fast that took. Very simple T-joint, obviously, we're not, we didn't have a real intricate part, but if I can do that that quickly, we can throw some other parts in there and try it out. Awesome little setup, easy to use. Um, interface is easy, and on this thing too, which I didn't show, this is the control panel, or the operation panel. So we have emergency stop, auto, teach, so we go back to teach if we want to teach it. End program, start, pause, wire jog, so we can jog that wire in and out, and then welding on or off. That's just for, for going to run through a course program that just turned it off. And then you also have your wire jog up here, your gas purge on there. Um, so everything's on this screen. It's, it's very simple to use and then you can also recall other programs. Go down to home, pull back up the programs that you might have on there. And you can do shifting programs so we can shift and copy these programs. So if you have multiple parts on your table, you can duplicate the same weld throughout those parts. Now I said 53 inches of reach, so we could run out here, a table out here, out front, over there, and behind it. Um, I know it's set up to be portable. A lot of these, though, that we've seen in these cobalt room, um, they don't move them around. They're usually stationary, doing, throw the parts in there, they go to town. They're easy to program, so um, very simple. Let's let's try this uh, weld out and see how it runs. All right, got my welding gun. Let's, let's give this a go here. So we got weld on, back to auto. 
start. See there, simple weld I didn't, we just made up, tacked up a few parts, ran it, but very nice weld. That was on AccuPulse and IntelliSet settings that they gave us, travel speed, everything, so we didn't have to really think about what we were going to, how fast we wanted to go and everything, but that's already programmed in there on the T-joint. Very simple. Um, so all in all, I mean, the robot is very easy to program. And plus you get one day training, uh, half a day set up, so not bad at all pulling apart. And it's, it's pretty compact, right? So, you know, Four by four table with fixturing tools, all included in the price, um, and we'll link all that down below. And then obviously we'll, but I mean, all in all, great machine. It's very simple to set up. Um, I'm actually impressed how easy the programming software is. So Miller built all the software. Miller did the robot, the table. They put everything together. They they back it. So three year warranty on the machine, one year on the arm. Uh, they back them. They service them all the software and then there's updates that come out you get the updates and we can update just bugs and fixes and stuff like that so awesome stuff and you got a good name back in it and obviously baker's gas will help you out on anything you need to do on this um, we'll link all the stuff down below if you got any questions comments leave them down below we'll do our best to answer them thanks again for watching stay tuned for some more